Hi, I'm William. This is Putnam Market, the wine room. We're upstate New York. We're going to open this bottle of Charles Heidsick, non-vintage brute, and we're going to see which is the better way to pour it. Now, before I can pour it, I need to open it. And that means finding the magic tab, which if I'd have been a wise person, I would have already located and pulled out, but I have it now. And we can unwrap that, remove the foil, and as those who know me know me well, there are precisely six turns of this, and that's because there's only one manufacturer. Three, four, five, six, off it comes. Here you can choose which you prefer. I like to leave the muzzle, which is the wire thing, on because it gives you a little bit more grip. And then holding on to the cork, I'm going to turn the bottle so that I never have to let go of the cork, because if those of you who've been paying attention will know, the pressure inside here is quite considerable, and its ability to do damage is great. Now, just at this point, I'm going to tip it over to increase the area from which the CO2 can escape. And that's really how you want it to open, unless, of course, you've just won a Formula One Grand Prix, in which case all bets are off. So if you go to a smart restaurant, they'll pour it like this. Straight down the middle of the glass. But if you take my advice and you're at home, you'll pour it like this. Why? Because the very act of pouring it down into the centre of the glass creates turbulence. And that turbulence, that motion, allows the CO2, the carbon dioxide, to escape. <clears throat> so as you can see, the wine on the right, poured more gently, is fizzing happily away, and the one on the left much less so. So there you have it. And there's something else to throw into this one as well, and temperature. Temperature also plays a part here, which is that the warmer your wine is, the more viscous, or the, the more its viscosity decreases, which means it becomes thinner, if you will, not so thick. And so warm champagne, warm sparkling wine, poured in directly, will explode with bubbles because... The turbulence will be greater, the, the velocity of the wine leaving the bottle will be higher, and the loss of carbon dioxide will be greater. So unless you're a sommelier in a particularly smart restaurant, I would suggest tipping the glass and pouring it just as if it was a nice glass of cold beer.